Tesla CEO Elon Musk may be back in active production of Tesla's 4680 batteries and the EV range anxiety hangs in the balance. Lawrence Ulrich has a very interesting analysis of the situation in a story published in a website called IEEE Spectrum and uh, in that thing he is asking in that uh, website he is asking if Elon Musk is back in production hell with Tesla's 4680 batteries. Welcome back dear friends this is our Harian from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage next time. And also please give us thumbs up for this report. So on July 26, Ulrich says in a rare glimpse into progress on his company's purported game changer battery, Tesla CEO Elon Musk was in true Muskian form, raising hopes and tempering expectations in one cryptic swoop. He said, we have successfully validated performance and lifetime of our 4680 cells produced at our Cato facility in California. We are nearing the end of manufacturing validation at Cato. Field quality and yield are at viable levels and our focus is now on improving the 10% of manufacturing processes that currently bottleneck production output. While substantial progress has been made, we still have work ahead of us before we can achieve volume production. Internal crash testing of our structural pack architecture with a single piece front casting has been successful, said Elon Musk. Any whisper of production bottlenecks at Tesla inevitably recalls the Model 3's troubled launch in 2017 and 2018, the one that had Elon Musk sleeping in his office. Yet that make or break sedan ultimately made Tesla the world leader in electric vehicles and one of its most valued companies, says Ulrich. The enlarged cylindrical 4680 battery cell which Tesla first teased at its battery day last September brings its own sky-high hopes and challenges. If Tesla can pull off in-house vertically integrated battery manufacturing and the cell performs as advertised, the 4680 could fuel Elon Musk's dreams to build millions of electric vehicles a year around the world. Tesla's goals include boosting driving range by more than 50%, 16% of that due to the 4680 battery cells, newfound pouch uh, while halving battery costs and bringing a $25,000 Tesla to showrooms. Tesla continues to dominate electric vehicle sales in America, but its seemingly insurmountable lead in driving range is under assault. The Arizona-built Lucid Air sedan, the work of Elon Musk's former Model S chief engineer, has demonstrated it can travel up to 517 miles, a lofty record for any electric vehicle. Tesla's best, the Model S Long Range, is EPA-rated for 405 miles. The Lucid Air is the first car to show range that's not just competitive with Tesla, but better an astonishing achievement, said Venkat Vishnadatan, battery researcher and associate professor of mechanical engineering at Carnegie Mellon University. It shows it's no longer a one-horse race, he said. The Gallup back in front. Uh, to gallop back in front, a 50% range leap for a vehicle like the Model S would let it top 600 miles. A diesel-like stamina that seemed un um, um, unimaginable a few years ago. So much for range anxiety, right? Sandy Monroe, the Detroit area engineer who has gained YouTube fame for his reverse engineered teardowns and analysis of electric vehicles, is among the experts convinced that Tesla will pull it off. He says... For the cell itself, no question, it will kick the daylights out of everybody, Monroe said. That kick begins with the 4680's form factor and what surrounds it, more than what ends up inside it. Monroe and other experts told IEEE Spectrum, the website from which I am based this report, where battery day trumpeted the new cell as having five times the energy density and six times the power of its Panasonic built 2170 cells, Elon Musk conveniently failed to mention the large 4680 has nearly 5.5 times the volume 
volume simply due to the large dimensions 46 by 80 millimeters versus 21 by 70 millimeters yet this bigger can brings big benefits each jelly roll cell packs in more active battery material and less va va vast wasted space in metal casting. A so-called structural battery pack, also called cell-to-pack construction, touted as a Tesla innovation, is in fact already a staple of several EVs, especially in China, including General Motors' Red Hot, roughly $5,000 Wooling Mini. That saves more space by trading multiple module cases for a more streamlined palette of sales varied in parallel. It's basically a giant box without dividers, Monroe said about Tesla's 4680 battery cells. And where current Tesla packs feature what Monroe calls a crappy cooling design with thermal channels between cells superflows because most heat is concentrated at cell ends, Monroe says 4680 cells will rest atop a liquid-cooled internal plate that became a staple of electric vehicles from GM, Ford, Volkswagen, Porsche or Rivian. When we first tore apart the Model 3, we just couldn't figure that out, Monroe said for the previous method. Monroe further estimated Tesla's redesigned pack, including adhesive bonds between cells and modern welding technologies, will reduce steel use by 30 to 40 percent. Stamped grid plates on top will bring power back to terminals. Monroe's team mocked up the project that projected pack, including cut and painted wooden dowels to mimic the beefy new cell. That pack swallowed 960 larger cells versus 4,416 cells for the 2170 battery cell variety. Totaling potential gains, Monroe estimated Tesla could stuff 130 kilowatt hour of new cells into the same sized pack that houses just 72 kilowatt hour in Model 3. His analysis suggests a 4680 cell with roughly 9000 mAh, I guess megahertz, versus 5000 mAh for the 2170 cells. Monroe cautions these aren't the definitive estimates. Tesla has yet to show its 4680 cell in physical form or reveal its chemistry or space. Still, experts say a long list of innovations could widen Tesla's already significant lead in driving range and efficiency versus the global giants. The holistic approach to electric vehicle and battery engineering is Tesla's key advantage, Monroe says. That chain of gains approach includes a tabless cell design, which some experts see as the 4680's best physical innovation, eliminating traditional tabs that connect a cathode and anode to battery terminals, simplifies manufacture, saves space, and reduces ohmic resistance, a major hurdle in safety charging a large format battery. You actually have a shorter pad length in a large tablet cell than you have in a smaller cell with tabs, Musk explained a year ago at Tesla's battery day. Elon Musk actually cites Tesla's growing manufacturing expertise in batteries, eliminating steps, streamlining processes, slashing costs as its true competitive edge. That vision includes not just 4680 factories adjacent to car plants near Austin and Berlin, but also chemical plants to produce cathodes and lithium hydroxide, according to Simon Morse, managing director of Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. In one example, Tesla plans to use raw metallurgical silicon to boost its content in cells using a scalable elastic polymer coating to conduct ions, boosting range another 20% and reducing pack cost by 5% according to Drew Baglino, its SVP of engineering. Two weeks before battery day, Tesla bought three patent applications for just $3 from Spring Power International. We reported that in our website. That was an obscure Canadian company that Tesla now seems to have acquired outright. One Spring Power invention, described by Musk and Baglino at battery day, uses recirculation to skip the step of treating contaminated water in cathode production up to 4,000 gallons of effluent for every 
ton of cathode material that same process might ease battery recycling and grid storage solutions. It's insanely complicated, like digging a ditch, filing in it and digging a ditch again, Musk said. We looked at the entire value chain and said, how can we make this as simple as possible? Now, meanwhile, electric vehicle demand threatens to outstrip battery supply, escaping EV production and adoption and delaying a climate critical switch from fossil fuels to electricity. But about that, I will tell you in my upcoming report. This is Armin Harian from torquenews.com. Friends, subscribe to our channel for daily discussions on electric vehicles. Stay in touch, ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage, and please give us thumbs up for this report, share in social media, and I'll see you soon in our next report. We would greatly appreciate it. Be kind to one another, love one another, and have a great day. Peace be with all of you.